Later, Michelle Kwan. She cut her practice short this morning, struggling with triple jumps. You'll remember she did not compete in the U.S. Women's Finals due to a groin injury and was given a bye by the U.S. Olympic Committee to go to the Games. Well, now there's speculation she may drop out if she's not at her best form. And today marks the debut of a new judging system for ice dancing. You might remember the vote-swapping scandal of 2002. As a result of that, a new set of rules were adopted. And here are a few of the new judging codes in case you watch the competition. The judges, first of all, anonymity will be protected. Nine of the 12 scores are used, and those nine are chosen by computer. Gone are the familiar figures 5.9 or 5.8. It will be a cumulative point system. Also gone is some of the more subjective judging on artistry, and the new judging will weigh more heavily on the objective elements such as difficulty and control. Now, the favorites in this category are the Russian duo and a young Chinese pair, but an American pair could benefit from these new rules. Rena Inoue and John Baldwin are the only Paris team to ever land a triple axel thrown in competition. It might have seemed impossible at one time because Rena battled lung cancer at 22, a disease that killed her father a year earlier. MSNBC's Allison Stewart spoke with her and Baldwin about her battle with the illness, the chemotherapy, and about her resolve to remain a competitor. It took me about a year to come back because uh, even though I finished all the treatments and everything in six months, I just wasn't ready to just get right back on the ice. I had to let it heal and like immune system wise and just I lost a lot of energy I was getting tired easy and stuff so I really took my time I wasn't in any hurry in for any reason so I just took my time and about a year about a past year I think I started feeling oh I think I can do this again so I got back on the ice and you know it didn't affect me in any ways about my skating career it just it didn't and I think it's because I was always positive and, you know, I think the best part was I didn't rush at all. I just took one day at a time and uh, if I didn't feel good, I didn't go in, you know, I just took my own time and that's just the way I had to do and I think, you know, I'm here now so I'm sure I'm doing really well. <laughs> Wow, a comeback from lung cancer at the age of 22. Well, the couple competes today and again on Monday. And if they looked a little cozy to you, it's because they are a couple on and off the ice. Allison asked them what they plan to do for Valentine's Day, which, of course, is smack in the middle of the holiday, as well as that triple axle they're expected to throw. And you can see the answers on MSNBC's daily show, Olympic Update, co-hosted by Allison and Chris Jansing, our women at the Olympics. And that's Monday at 8 a.m. So you have to wait a little while for that one. Coming next, we will hear from the American Bard from competing because of his hair loss treatment.